Again, these are not what we're going to talk about today. No, we are today going to talk about my tool pens. Those would be these Jin Hao sub ten dollar pens. Now, uh, this one is my Jin Hao 450, and uh, this one is my Jin Hao X 750 tool pen. Now, uh, this X450 has been around with me for about five years, and it sports a tripod grip. And uh, it has a fine nib. It's not really a fine nib, but uh, you can see it's kind of beat up. The gilding is coming off, and this this enamel paint on the section is coming off. And and uh, this is an enameled mer metal barrel, and you can see the metal showing through with the enamels chipped away. And this little ring on the back got loose and clacks when I hit it. But overall, this has been a very successful pen. And uh, this pen has lived a hard life as it has subsisted solely on platinum carbon ink. Now, platinum carbon ink is a pigmented ink, meaning it's got little bits of carbon floating in a medium that dries, and leaving the carbon behind. And the problem with this ink is if it dries in the feed of your pen, or over time, as, your, as it is used in the pen, it can really gum up the feed. So you've got to keep your pens clean. That's why I use it in this cheap pen. Now, this X750 is my test bed pen. It's been through quite a bit. I have uh, done all kinds of things to it. I've put different nibs in it, like from my uh, dip pens. I've put a Zebra G nib, one of these flex nibs, into it. That didn't work out very well. But one of the things I also did was I got a Fountain Pen Revolution flex nib for it, and that worked pretty well in this pen, but the feed wasn't fast enough, so it now resides inside this Noodler's Neponset pen, where it uh, is much more successful. So now this pen has graduated to a brand new nib, and that nib is this stainless steel Goulet Yovo stub nib. It's a 1.5. I'm going to speed things up here. And uh, I was using these corrosive or clogging inks, like document style inks or carbon inks, to uh, copy music back in the 80s and 90s. And I used to use a flex nib on a dip pen with uh, India ink. But Bill Hughes, a copyist in Hollywood, turned me on to using stub nibs with a fountain pen. Now, I had used fountain pens in the past, but I was using corrosive inks in those fountain pens, and uh, it had a flex nib. My Omas pen that I had from France had a nice flex nib, but unfortunately I was using Iron Gall ink in that pen, and it actually ruined the piston filling mechanism on that pen, and now that pen lives in a box where it awaits rebuilding when uh, I either have the time and the money. But uh, Bill Hughes turned me on to these inexpensive pens using stainless steel stub nibs because flex nib options back then in the 80s and 90s were either very expensive or they were on vintage pens. And I neither wanted to spend a lot of money nor destroy a vintage pen or another vintage pen. And so I went to these stub nibs and they were much more successful. So I've... Uh, decided to put a new stub nib in this pen as I enjoy the writing experience and uh, I enjoy the line variation. So this pen is now going to be a 1.5 Yovo nib. This nib works very well and uh, these inks work, work very well in this pen. So, well, I guess uh, that's it. Mm -hmm.